Uh, I, I, it's, I got them too um, tight to start. And we just got it loose, a little bit loose uh, after that, that start again. Two wound up, um, learned some things. Uh, and I thought after halftime, that, that third quarter was about as responsive as I've seen our team. And it, it wasn't – it wasn't – it was them talking to each other. It was a few coaching things here and there, the the transition to the zone, the uh, kind of moving, uh, you know, the ball around, moving Talia to some different spots. And then, you know, she kind of goes scorched earth there in the, th- in the third quarter. Uh, and to see her team rally around that and start, you know, calling plays that I wasn't even calling trying to get her the ball, that's the stuff that I'm really proud of because uh, it could have gone a lot of different ways. So – Yeah, uh, recognizing that, you know, and then that that improved our defense too. That was not – I don't think it's coincidence that that was our best defensive quarter as well. Uh, we are very offensive sensitive, but that can also be a positive when you get going and you're and you're making shots. Uh, to beat them on the rebounds, 44-41. The thing I thought we – the biggest difference was we cleaned – they had 10 steals in the first half. Not just us having turnovers, but they were just like taking it from us. And going down, and I'm glad we weren't at Auburn. I'd have gotten sick of the fight song because it was just layup city there for a while. So I thought we cleaned that up, and that was a toughness thing. And they were talking about it. This, we've got to be the aggressor and got to be a little tougher. And I thought that was big. Emory Ellis coming in, giving us a plus 12 in eight minutes, you know, in, in, May, in Merriam and Sailor's foul trouble. Uh, Carly Johnson played four positions tonight. Um, you know, those 18 minutes when we're in foul trouble, uh, really valuable, but. You know, with the the leadership of our Merriam uh, double double, um, played through foul trouble. Uh, I never took her out one time because of fouls. Took her out just to rest her a little bit. But um, you know, we we've had one possession games with Auburn the last three games we've played. So uh, we got up fifteen, and I thought, man, if we could just find a way to um, you know, get it over twenty, but we never could, and then they came roaring back. I, I got us a little bit passive. I started trying to do too much math on how many, you know, how many possessions were left in the game, and we got a little passive, and they got hot. But I uh, was proud of our effort to to come up with a stop there at the end. I I, I felt like they were going to try to get something going to the rim. I just felt like the way it was had been going in the fourth quarter. We were, we put Marion on the ball. Uh, we, they kind of decided that and, and talking with coach Todd over there a little bit. And uh, I thought that made a difference on the pass. Uh, you know, we, we had the opportunity there um, to get a rebound and we didn't come up with a big one and we could have folded, but we came back and really contested Taylor's tip there. Was it, was it Taylor at the buzzer? Um, but I, I felt like we felt like there was going to be a lob or a quick curl for, uh, Scott Grace and Mac did a good job. They kind of pr- what we call pro switch. Mac and Sam did a good job on that, and um, you know we we're fortunate that maybe she missed it. I haven't I haven't seen how close it was. I just was relieved I heard that horn go off. Mac let out a big. I asked her how tough is to guard honesty. Um, she's got a lot of respect. Uh, what do you think about her? Oh, she's phenomenal, um, and and has continued to improve. I think Johnny's done an unbelievable job with her. Uh, in her time there, uh, getting her to that confidence level that she's at. You know, Max guarded some of the best perimeter players in this league, and for her to say that, that's an ultimate compliment. Um, you know, the fact that she's shooting the three so well now just makes her – I mean, we all know she's a pro. It's just a matter of what level. Um, but uh, I'll be glad to see that kid graduate, that's for sure. Mac will be too. Yeah. I thought all the boxes that we hoped to check got checked. Like the things that they brought up all got checked. The things we talked about all got checked. Um, you know, uh, we, we had a dinner, a, a, a team meal last night. And just, just to see them, you could tell we were going to be better. Um, and and I, I go back now and I, I wonder if we could have done something prior to the Alabama game or if that was what we needed so that it doesn't happen again. I don't know. Um, but it, it took a lot out of us tonight to make a comeback when we could have been uh, – we could have been dead in the water again, and we could have reverted back to some of those things. So, 
I, I really liked our, their response. Yeah, we, it, it was a game that we knew we were playing against somebody that was going to be around us in the standings at the end. Um, we had a, you know, last game was halfway through the conference, so I brought the board out. I only only do it like one time a year. Brought the board out, showed everybody where we were at and the games we had left. Um, you know, at, at this point in time, we're still too early. There's still too many things happening around the league. But um, I do know this, if, if we can just keep stacking wins, uh, then, you know, my goal is for somebody in this room to not have to have ammunition <laughs> going into that. She can't talk about us there anyway. But I, I just want it to be a no-brainer. I don't want there to have to be, you know, all these great stories that we try to convince people. I want us to be good enough, and I think that we are, uh, if we can continue to, you know, the timing of Talia's injury combined with the timing of Sailor's injury and the timing of uh, Carly's injury, Keats's injury, um, we could have gone in the tank. We really could have. We could have made a bunch of excuses through that, and this group just never has. So now that we're starting to get everybody back healthy, you know, Sailor's two weeks into her plan, and she feels better than she's felt. Um, Talia obviously is as close back to 100% as she can be. Um, and then we'll get Keats back sooner than we hoped, uh, I think. Her surgery went well, and hopefully we'll be full strength down the stretch. Yeah. I think so. And getting the right people up there, putting the, you know, getting in the right people's hands. Uh, I do think our group has a good focus when they get to the foul line. It helps when your bigs are good free throw shooters, you know, Miriam, I'm surprised every time Miriam misses her shot, her shot is so pretty. It's those big hands and that follow through and that release. So, you know, for, that's the difference of the game. You look at it and, you know, they've, they go 13 for 24 and we're 19 for 27. Uh, Mac will be mad a, a little bit, but uh, I don't, I don't think she'll, and the first two were my fault. First two were my fault that she missed because she likes to have somebody up on the free throw line with her. And I knew that and I forgot it. And then the last two, those were on her. Cause I put them up there, but uh, I don't think, I mean, she made up for it. She said, I got us. I got us. And she did. Yeah. You know, um, it's always a great game when we, um, do our pink game and see India's family here. I got to talk to her mom and her dad, uh, her sister's wearing her Jersey, but for not just India, but for all the, uh, fighters and survivors, this is one we have a lot of fun with and honoring. Um, what did we end up with? 4,400 boy. It was a loud 4,400 and at a five o'clock game, just continued to appreciate our, our fans and our community. There's lots of things you could be doing and we appreciate them coming out. Our kids noticed too. It, it it wasn't something we really talked about. We talked about getting the pace going. I just felt like, you know, um, some of the shots we were having to take, they got us deep in the shot clock because we were perfectly content just to walk the ball up the floor and pick it up, hold it. And I, we, we talked about it. And as a coach, you get – it makes you feel bad because when you talk about something and it doesn't get done, it makes you a bad coach. <laughs> you know, if you stand up and say, I just told you all, like the first play of the game, we turn it over. And, you know, you say, well, I warned y'all. That makes me – I didn't have them prepared if I say that. So, um, I was glad that we made the adjustments. But well, there was never a talk about, hey, we got to get Talia touches right off the bat. But when she makes one or two, then I don't have to say a word. Like, it just finds her. And that's what I want her to learn is that, just be patient. Over the course of the game, the ball is going to continue to find you. It doesn't matter where you line up. It doesn't matter whether you start with it in your hands. Um, we've got a veteran team uh, that is can recognize when somebody's, you know, in the zone or heating up as – what was that old video game, NBA Jam? She's heating up. I kept hearing that in the back of my head every time she'd make one. But they, we did not do anything. I didn't have a coach come to me and say, hey, we got – none of that. It just kind of organically happened. And then – Obviously, once it gets going, you make a few play calls to get her, but um, there, there wasn't anything talked about. Yeah. 
throw it in there. Very. Yeah, very, especially late. You know, um, she had the game, made the game winning decision, passing it to Miriam the other time. Um, you know, and, and to me, the, the longer the game goes along, I wish we had Sam's stats broken down to first quarter, second quarter, fourth quarter, last four minutes, whatever. Um, because she real, she wants it in her hands. Uh, Max, a kid that wants it to come to her late. She doesn't necessarily want to be the first option. Uh, but Sam's okay with that. She's got a, she's got broad shoulders. Uh, she's willing to to know that it is in her hands. Five assists, two turnovers today against the team that tried to take it from us every single time. Uh, it was really good, but very confident. We, you know, cleared one side out for her and thought she got a great matchup, and that and one was big. All right. Thank you all.